Right, so something happened madly on Furry Twitter today, and it's honestly awful. Not in the, not really in the normal sense of awful that I have, but just in the brain dead sense of awful. So there's a recent trend a person made is either cool or ironic thing, whether it's a graph that shows something cool or an ironic meme that sent the Americans into fucking oblivion. But first, did you guys know that only 22.7% of you guys are subscribed? What the fuck? Subscribe now, and you'll get your first order of purified anthrax for free. Bargains for days, bro! <laughs> Basically, what happened today is a furry named Volpo, funny enough, a friend of mine, made a shit posty tweet resembling a trend going around on Twitter. A little background on Volpo, he's Italian and he's an absolute shitlord. He's also one of the admins of Italian Fur Posting, one of the largest furry meme pages that YouTubers love to seem to steal from. He posted his meme, and to say it rustled the fuck out of some jimmies would be. I'd say it'd be the understatement of the century. No, 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 look at this one! Look at So then, Vulpo, seeing all of this, goes, Lab calls me up on the telephone, international call, of course, and says, Pizza pasta, mamma mia, Costa Concordia. But anyway, let's read the tweet that he made. The hei heinous tweet that he made. The heinous tweet that he should be lynched over and murdered. That's gonna be mad out of context. So he made a tweet called, Furry Society. On top is corporations, then furry YouTubers, then artists, then rich furs. Furry meme crafters, and then everyone else, which, if you didn't know, is the true way that society falls, like IRL as well, fully, that the, the true way society falls, and I'm fully honest here, that's how it should be, furry YouTubers are clearly the best and no question. So I thought we should have a look at some of the people who are responding to Vulpo's thing, and one of the main people in opposition to Vulpo is Tico Yin, and let's read out the first tweet. Why the fuck would someone, one, make this shit? Two, put for YouTube to buy everybody else. Like, they're literally the same average boring content ever. Like, I don't even know a person that watches for YouTube on a regular basis. Why the fuck would someone take this seriously? Be so enraged that someone has a different opinion t to warrant a whole different ass tweet? Mate, it's not that deep. Tico then responds with, Maybe because it's annoying to see another graphics trying to give more relevance to certain people in the fandom than others. And also, you made a tweet replying to this, so the second one may apply to you too. Another graphic? What other graphics do you see putting for YouTubers above artists? I don't think the second one applies to me that I am trying to understand the mental process that led you to be invested in a meme. Tico said that memes are supposed to be funny and have a joke. Uh, no, the comedy is subjective completely. That's it's actually ironic humor, so... Wrong again. And then someone jumped to the defense, and that's all they do is people jump to the defense and then blocked the person speaking about this. So it's basically an echo chamber. Hey! Who are you people? What do you want from me? You want the numbers, Mason. That's all we've ever wanted. And if I'm brutally honest, the fandom has a very bad outlook on YouTubers, and it's utterly stupid. See, you can create videos, but if it's got a mundane topic, a mundane thumbnail, no tags, and you don't share it anywhere, you can't expect to gain any subscribers or views from it. I've been doing YouTube across channels for up to seven years now, and I kind of think I know how this shit works. But a lot, and I mean a lot of people, took their anger out on Volpo to the point where he had to make a fucking statement. Is this what we do now? Someone makes a, har a humane, unhurtful joke, and wants the American's dog pile onto it until he has to give out a fucking apology? Oh, what's that? This person isn't American? Oh. Well, damn, the affection is spreading. Get that person a green card. You're gonna live in, let me see. Uh, let me lift up Google Maps. Let's put you in Flagstaff, Arizona. That's your new house. Flagstaff, Arizona. Enjoy. <laughs> also, the fact that people believe that fur YouTubers are considered elite, you're fully fucking wrong. Having interacted with a lot of streamers and YouTubers that are, people see as elite, they're not. They're human beings who've worked for their positions, providing free content. Well, you don't enjoy it, but others do. Those are the people who pedestalize them, because you're getting fucking jealous that other people are pedestalized. If you want to become a furry YouTuber, make a channel. I got a 1.64k of commentating over gameplay. But anyway, thank you guys very much for seeing this quick little video. I'll see you guys in the next one.